Okay, so I wanted to demonstrate frequency modulation in as simple terms as possible. I'll try and make this quick. I've got a sine wave coming from an IntelliGel Dixie, the old one. Uh, that's going into our oscilloscope and then out to our sound card. We've also got a sine wave LFO from this Dopfer running into the linear FM input on the Dixie and uh, if I turn the volume of the sine wave up, we can hear a sine wave. Nothing uh, surprising about that. Um, now I'm going to turn the amplitude of the LFO up slowly. And we can see and hear the uh, fluctuations in pitch. Now if we begin to turn the LFO up in frequency, we get to a stage, uh, let's just switch the rate from low to medium, we, begin, we get to a stage where we can no longer count the fluctuations or the, the, the peaks and troughs and the LFO actually moves into audio rate so it's no longer in that sub 20 hertz frequency. So just around about here we almost hear like a new tone being superimposed. If I switch to the high band, what we're actually now seeing as well is that the frequency modulation becomes so quick we don't see that contraction and expansion of the periods of the sine wave. So this is the premise of frequency modulation.